Hey guys, the more I do this, the more I recognize that while the market and a lot of developers and a lot of agents want to get clients moving towards a one size fits all, hey, I sell this to everybody else, you should also buy this. There are a lot of unique situations which are very customized and deserve customized advice. Uh, I'm gonna speak about that in this video. Show real fast. All right, welcome back. All right, guys, let's talk about the one size fits all situation, okay? Now, sometimes there is a situation where, for example, I'll explain Dubai's early days of 2003, 2004. What happened, right? Basically, Dubai opened up Freehold and it was the first time in a city like Dubai in the Middle East, um, non-local Emiratis or non-local nationals could purchase property. So it doesn't matter which nationality you're from, you could essentially own freehold property with freehold rights in perpetuity. Essentially speaking, that was uh, the way it was. And now at that time, things were so hyped in a genuine way that you could potentially come to Dubai and kind of buy anything. Nobody knew exactly where the market was going, where it was going to stop, where it was going to correct, or where it was going to crash, then came 2008. So in that kind of hype situation, you kind of you kind of purchase what everybody else is purchasing. But you know, Dubai now 20 odd years old is moving towards being a more mature, more serious, uh, well-regulated market. And in this kind of market, I don't think that everybody needs to take the approach of one size fits all so that if everybody else is buying, in that particular place or my neighbor has bought in that particular place or my friend has bought in that place, I should go and also buy. Now, generally speaking, the people, the average investor does a little bit of investigation, right? So if the neighbor says, hey, I've just bought over there, why don't you go and buy with them? They're going to go there and they're going to um, evaluate the opportunity a little bit more, uh, see what fits their needs, what doesn't fit their need and at some stage make a decision, yes or no. Now, investors aren't fool, fools, so they have an internal guiding beacon that guides them. For example, I'll give you a very specific example. If you are an introvert, yeah, generally speaking, introverts like a quieter place, less hustle and bustle. If they need to go to a restaurant, they'll go to a nice restaurant in a nice location in the middle of the city, but then they prefer to go to their house. This is just me speaking in generalizations. Obviously, I can be corrected by anybody who's a, a real, true, genuine introvert out there. Uh, nothing wrong with that. They're amazing people with their own strengths and weaknesses, but, and I can be corrected. But so generally speaking, introverts would like to gen go to a quieter place, right? Now, in this scenario, I'll, I'll take the premium developer in Dubai. Generally speaking, the communities are full of hustle and bustle, right? Because, uh, you know, people, uh, people kind of like get attracted towards that, right? So for an introvert, it's going to be a very customized solution. And for you, uh, as an investor, there's going to be this internal beacon that's going to be guiding you. The only thing I always tell my investors is, look, get the process and the stages right. So instead of going out there and evaluating properties right from the bat and then allowing your internal beacon to guide you a little bit while the salesperson whispers in your ears and guides, forces, pushes you a little bit and then you're trying to step back and say, whoa, I want to make a decision that's in my best interest like everybody else would like to do. Instead of doing that, do a complete needs analysis in the early stages first. Understand what makes you tick, what are, pro what are the properties that would make sense for you, and what are the properties that wouldn't make sense for you. And then go into the market, evaluating the properties vis-a-vis -vis the needs and the analysis that has been done for your own property. And actually defined for your own property. That's where you're going to be in a position to make a better informed decision. And that's why I say, look, a one size fits all solution perhaps is not the best way to go about doing this. There are situations where a one size fits all, for example, 
there's 500 investors, they don't really care where they're investing or in what property they're investing. Their main concern is the money deployed and the rental yield coming back to them. That's it. And then, you know, have the ability to get capital appreciation, uh, which a few things can quickly tick the boxes, like, you know, good location, good infrastructure, good future prospects, and then good capital liquidity in case they need to sell it because all of a sudden, for example, they've got a, an amazing business opportunity and it just makes sense to put money in there, they would need to quickly liquidate. So for an investor, that kind of situation makes sense, you know, just looking at rental yield, so how much rent income you can get net in your pocket, rental uh, capital appreciation on the property, future potential. Nobody get guaranteed, but you know you can always assess and make an informed decision. And last but not the least, capital liquidity. Right, real estate can you can liquidate liquidate money out of real estate between three to six months, sometimes faster. But that's the timeline that you need to care. So that's a one size fits all situation. Otherwise, if you're looking for a home, and even some investors have peculiar requirements, don't go for the one size fits all. Uh, solution and try to get somebody an advisor an expert uh, like ourselves who will advise you in the best possible way for your long-term interest all right ciao for now okay guys so thanks for watching my name again is Fahad Daud I've been doing this for 14 plus years I started in 2006 in Toronto Canada and since 2007 I've been doing this in Dubai I generally talk about real estate your life my life and our path to allowing financial bliss coming to us if you want to work with me, such as buy a property in Dubai or you need general advice, you can hit me up on the con in the contact form below. If you've liked this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, press the bell icon and hit the like button and share it with other friends. Ciao for now.